Did you have these stars in mind, Kate Winslet and Josh Brolin? Nope. Um, but I was very happy with the casting. Um, Jason actually did tell me really early on that Kate Winslet was who he wanted, and he waited a full year for her. And she was worth waiting for, in my opinion. Um, Josh, I didn't, I, I don't, when I'm writing, I do, I make a, I, I have a little movie going in my head, but it's not like a Hollywood movie. It's my own invention. So I, I cast people in life, you know, just somebody that I know that, oh, this person looks like that one. Um, but I did, I think I said last night, I pictured Tommy Lee Jones, but our Tommy Lee Jones, you know, Tommy Lee Jones of long ago. And so that's very in keeping with the casting that he ultimately did. And I, I love the casting. And of course, the boy, the casting of the boy is so important. And, you know, you don't, you don't usually know that many 13-year-old boy actors, but boy, did he find a good one. I, I think Gatlin Griffith is just extraordinary. What impressed you most about him? Uh, how expressive his face is without without words. Um, I mean, he's in almost every scene of this movie, and he doesn't say that many words. It's just looking at his face. Well, you, you said you were in, inspired by the boy, that you heard the boy's voice. Did. did you hear the boy's voice as a young boy or as an older boy? No, because I heard the boy's, good question, no. I heard the 13-year-old boy. And I did raise sons, this book is dedicated to my two sons, um, who are now grown, um, but it was a, a big um, awareness of mine while I was raising them that, that they, were, they were feeling a need to take care of me. And that's not as, cho as it should be for children. Um, and I was, I mean, I was doing my best to take care of them. But they also recognized correctly my vulnerability. My husband, my husband, God. That's scary. My son, Charlie, did give me the Husband for a Day coupon book that's in the movie. Can you tell me, is the girl, the little girl who um, does the first kiss, was she modeled on you or did you, is there wow, anything you of you? smart. <laughs> I don't usually admit it. Yeah. She's, you know, uh, I mean, Al said something very good. There, there are no villains, but she is definitely devious and diabolical and dangerous in the way that a 13-year-old girl can be. Um, and she's actually a much bigger character in the novel than she is in the film. I don't fault Jason for this, but she, there just wasn't space for her. Um, but I, I mean, I'm all of these characters. I'm, I am Adele. That's the most obvious one. I'm pieces of Adele. I'm pieces of Frank. Pie baking is me, but I'm, you know, that kind of prisoner feeling. I, you know, you can be a prisoner in many different forms. I'm Henry, but I'm also definitely that girl wanting to stir things up. It's not a script with a lot of big speeches, you know. Um, it's, it's faces and feelings and, and baking. <laughs> well, and that's what I want to get to. In that. Yes, I want to talk about the pies. Now, you were not a baker growing up, but your mother was. Well, I, I did bake. I never, the one thing I didn't bake was pie. I didn't have to because my mother made great pie, and my mother was going to live forever. Only she didn't. Um, and she had always said, if I ever get a brain tumor, she said this years before, if I ever get a brain tumor, I'm not going to count calories. She got a brain tumor. So I baked a lot that summer for her because all of her friends were coming to see her and say goodbye to her. She was a great hostess. And her friends would take me aside and they'd say, of course they'd say, we're going to miss your mother. But they said, we're going to miss your pie and could you give us the recipe? And as I regularly say, it is not about the recipe. It's about how you handle the dough. So I, when I was writing this book, and all of my obsessions are always in this stew that I cook up and you know a little bit of this a little bit of that um, and I wanted to show the tenderness of Frank and I wanted to make that manifest in some very physical visual way um, my mother and her pie were an obvious choice how many takes did you have to do were I there wasn't there but I gather it was the longest shoot uh, the longest day of the shoot and that they had 50 pies in different stages of construction. I had come on the first day I came to teach Josh how to make the pie. And after that, they had a team of people making pies. And Josh made the pie every day of that summer. Uh, because he had to really look like he knew what he was doing. Didn't, I mean, Kate didn't, Kate didn't even want to, I mean, she was there, but it wasn't her job to learn how to make a good pie. She was supposed to be a person who didn't make pie. And same with Gatlin, but Josh needed to really own that pie, and he did, so he made them over and over again. I but understand that Jason he... Jason 
built a special oven. You know that scene where you sort of see it cooking and it's a really like sensual scene. He built a special oven so we could see the pie bake. I understand that Josh made so many pies that he would give them to Kate Winslet and, and she would them away. Yeah. and she wouldn't give back the pie plate so he could make another one. <laughs> I didn't hear that myself, but you know, he and he makes a really good pie. I will say. It's a good peach. I should throw most of them away before they rot. I have another idea. How's a fellow let a woman like your mother get away? He got together with his secretary. A big piece of my story is that I was a single parent, and I'm not that character. I'm not Adele. I'm not her. Um, and Josh Brolin never showed up in my kitchen. But I certainly know the loneliness and isolation and yearning of a single parent. And I really, I hadn't seen that story told. So that came very much out of my life, wanting to um, give to another woman or man like me, because I think this is true for men as well, you know, doing it alone in whatever form doing it takes. Um, I wanted them to have the story that I wished I'd had. I, I mean, I wrote the story very fast because I just wanted to know how it was going to turn out, and the only way to find out was to write it. And it was it was a story I would have loved to have read. 